Octagon always has one major grey eminence and that was Swiss General Ulrich Wille who financed Adolf Hitler from 1923 onwards. Then Swiss François Genoux was introduced to Hitler as the next post-war next generation grey eminence. And today Octagon's successive grey eminence is the Swiss Senator Geri Müller who as a national councillor of Swiss parliaments gets a $300,000 fee to hang around with killers and terrorists while displaying himself as a Green Party member. Well, it's an awful funny thing to do for an ecologist, isn't it? Well, there is no left wing in Switzerland and there never has been. This is merely a good cover-up. I wrote thousands of letters for help of which also several to this guy who never even replied. It only worsened the Swiss Nazi terror on me and my family. So I can tell you from my own experience that this guy doesn't give a rat's ass about human rights. As the rest of the Swissies, you can read the whole lot. It's only in German here. It will pop out in English very soon. This guy has taken over the legacy of François Genoux, connected to the Palestinian mass murderer Amin al-Husseini of the SS division Hanjar, which are the very things Giri Müller really likes as the next grey eminence of Octogon. He most certainly knows Khodorkovsky too. So Khodorkovsky contacts Giri, the grey eminence, who contacts his Palestinian terrorist friends? Who contacts some Chechen jih jihadists? Who do the bombings in Volgograd and Bekwiar in Russia? Circle closed. And who thinks of Switzerland? Here's some more of Giri's Islamo-Nazi connection. His father fought for the Nazis in World War II and was imprisoned by the Allies after the war. Thus giving the Swiss grey eminence his Nordic name. Giri means the greedy one and is the name of one of Odin's wolves. Well, and greedy Mr. Swiss he is. Greedy for power. You can read the whole article in Wikipedia on the internet. This is what this is. This was the belief of the Nazis and the the Nazi Templars, the Nordic mythology. Odin's wolves, Giri, Giri and Freki, are very much related with Ragnarok or the end times, together with the two ravens, Hugin and Munin. And most likely, the end times for Islam will come sooner than expected, as the Russians will strike back hard on Islam after the Volgograd attacks, although the real perpetrators and mastermind of the attacks are in Switzerland, whose banks see their end or their end times coming, so they want to stir up war and chaos to escape the sling. And look at end time Geri's small rats like eyes and big mouth. This is what pharaohs show a lot. And in fact, the Nordic mythology is pharaonic, as the pharaohs mix with the Nordic sea peoples, as they call them, uh, whom they call the Haunabu, or harbour dwellers in Nordic, just another name for Vikings. The name Geri consists of two pharaonic components, Ri, the word for the sun, and Ge, meaning also. So in Demotic, Geri, or also sun, indicates that the bearer of this name comes also from the sun, where the sun gods came from of the Per'a royal dynasty. So here we can see uh, one of the very early um, carvings in ancient Egypt of a Viking sea people, Haunabu Drakkar warship with the dragon on in the front, up front. So this Swiss pharaoh pretending to be a harmless Green Party member under the cover-up of humanitarian issues 
as his pal Khodorkovsky is in fact the grey eminence of Octogon and Terrorfürst in German. The guy is from Baden where I filmed the Bouveri house with the pharaonic Apis bull and Isis statue next to the villa. The Bouveri company who used Buchenwald's concentration camps inmates to work for this Swissy company which produced armaments for the Nazis in World War II. This is the place where Geary the Swissy lives and knows all influential people. So a few days ago he has been put on an international terror list against which the Swissies are heavily protesting at the moment with the usual ingredients of Swissy neutrality swindle. And in order to bring Swiss Octagon's Thousand Year Reich to downfall I recently made this film about the Colonia, Colonia Suiza and Hitler's escape to Argentina which for obvious reasons the Swissies had blocked and censored in many countries because it carries too much evidence. So make sure you all copy it. So the Swiss Giri is boosting the morale of the octagon finance terrorist movements and showing them that many Europeans stand behind their cause, just as in the good old times of the Islamo-Nazi SS division Hanjar under Palestinian leadership and murdering hundreds of thousands of Europeans in the Balkans. But never Switzerland, the feeding hand and equally octagon make sure that there will never be any terror attacks in the motherland and base of all evil through the public relations, financing and leading of the great eminences of octagon and true ambassadors of Switzerland. So here we can see how terrorists and killers just walk in and out of the Swiss parliament uh, just as they had Mr. Hitler there and Mussolini who spent a long time in Bern, Switzerland. I have more names of some Swiss Octagon members who are stirring up world peace and I sincerely hope that some real Muslims will wake up out of this dogmatic lethargy and realize how Islam is threatened from within through the infiltration of Octagon and the Nazi Templars from Switzerland by manipulating the Palestinians being in a situation open for the most wicked of solutions are now spreading out. It is this danger from within and instigated by the thousand year Reich that is the greatest danger of all and is going to bring the all destroying anger of the Russian beer over the entire Ummah of Islam which started under Hitler with an entire Muslim SS division of 26,000 Muslims the largest SS division of the Reich and Hitler was financed by Octogon Switzerland. The belief of Hitler, Himmler, head of the Muslim Hanjar SS and all the Nazis was and still is the religion of the Nordic gods out of the Nordic mythology who are being led by their upper god Odin who is one-eyed just as the Dajjal because he sacrificed his right eye in return for power at the lake of wisdom. His other eye shines and blazes as the sun. Just as the all-seeing eye of the pharaonic Freemasons on the dollar bill, which is in fact the eye of Odin. He has two ravens, Hugin and Munin, Yajui and Majuj or Gog and Magog, very much related with the end of times and Gog and Magog appear both in the Quran and the Bible. These two ravens on the one-eyed God's shoulders are his eyes, spies and messengers, just as the Red Cross, United Nations and all these so-called humanitarian spy organizations for the New World Order and based in Geneva, Switzerland as it is said in the prophecies that the one-eyed Dajjal resides in the north between two mountains where Switzerland the base of all evil is. The word Dajjal also means the liar and deceiver 
who tells the world how clean, neutral and innocent he is, just as Switzerland does. But yet, the opposite is true. And Odin, the one-eyed god of the Nazis and their unholy alliance with Islam, rides the horse Schleipnir with eight legs of octagon, the Nazi Templar organization behind the screens. All signs are there, including Draupnir, the ring of the one-eyed Dajjal Odin god of the Islamo-Nazi alliance through Amin al-Husseini that gives birth to eight octagon new rings of the Vesica Pites every morning after each night, indicating how fast the armies of evil are growing rapidly in the end of times and are holding together as in a chain of rings. This one-eyed Dajjal Odin god has two wolves called Giri and Freki, meaning greedy and voracious, and it's thus the name of the actual grey eminence Giri Müller of Octagon of the unholy alliance between Islam and the Nazis. And yes, greedy this Giri is indeed. Greedy for power and the $300,000 he gets every year for connecting Islam with Octagon's Nazism. Here we can see him dominating the world in front of the Swiss Parliament. This is what Octagon wants, I told you so. Look at the signs, I tell you, for they are, they are all there, and if not the Ummah, itself destroys this unholy alliance with the Dajjal that largely, ha largely has infiltrated Islam through Octagon's infiltrations through the Palestinians and their difficult situation equally created by the Nazis and the events of World War II molding them ready to open the door for all prepositions by evil from the Alpine mountains then if not, the end of times for Islam will come much sooner than expected. This shall be the prophecy. And both the Nazis and Odin have their thousand year reign, just as the Quran describes Dajjal's empire, the one-eyed god of the Nazis and their octagon base in the Alps, and the Dajjal already nested at the heart of Islam and whisp whispering in the Umar's ears, to lay bombs in Stalingrad that has already suffered that much by the same hand and whispers through the greedy, gary, grey eminence of Octagon never to lay bombs in the base of evil between the two mountains. It's thus Islam and Christianity will be replaced by <coughs> the new world order, one world religion, because nobody listen to the prophecies. It's furthermore important to understand that the entire so-called Nordic mythology and their one-eyed Dajjal god, Odin, comes from the land of Pharaoh, who already mixed with the Nordic sea peoples Haunabu and created the old world order of the Pharistocracy, ruling over the Nordic and European peoples, with the exception of their base Switzerland, where the concentration is highest and the collaboration with evil is 100%. See my videos, Pharistocracy, the Pharaoh Show, Octagon, the Empire of Darkness, for that.